Hello, my name is Wouter from RetrofitLab.com and in this video I will show you the different projectors that we have available for installation inside of your halogen reflector headlights. I have here the Mini H1 Primo, Mini H1 Ultimo, the Atom LED X2 and finally the Optimus TR Mini. So in this video we'll go over the different features of these projectors and we will also of course test the light output using a light meter. So you can make an educated choice for your vehicle. This is the Mini H1 Primo projector. It's a bike xenon projector so it's able to produce both a low and a high beam. Um, it can switch between low and high using a magnetic solenoid. It uses a flat cutoff shield and a basic reflector design. There's a plastic lens holder which holds a 100% clear optic lens for a super sharp cutoff. The bulb is held by a metal clip and of course it comes with an H4 and an H7 adapter for easy installation within an H4 or H7 halogen reflector. The total mounting depth required is about 120 millimeters inside of your headlight. So this is the Mini H1 Primo lit up at the wall in a distance of around 4 meters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the light output in the brightest area and that's in the middle of the hotspot and see how bright this projector is, the Mini H1 Primo. So I'll put the sensor here in the middle and the maximum reading that I can get is 2.96 so the maximum reading I get is 2.96 kilolux for the Mini H1 Primo This is the Mini H1 Ultimo bike xenon projector. It's able to produce both low and high beam using a magnetic solenoid, which activates the curved cutoff shield. It also has an improved reflectable design. There's a plastic lens holder holding the perfectly clear lens, which produces a perfectly clear cutoff. The H1 bulb is held by a special screw type retaining ring. What else is that there is the, of course the H4 adapter ring for mounting inside of H4 reflector headlights and of course the H7 adapter ring for easy installation in H7 headlights. The mounting depth required is 119 millimeters. So you're looking at the Mini H1 Ultimo, it's lit up at around 4 meters from the wall and again I'm going to see what the maximum reading is that we'll get with our lux meter. So I'll keep the sensor here in the middle within the hotspot and see what the maximum reading is that we'll get. So I'm already at 5.12 and that's the maximum that we'll get here. So 5.12 kilolux, that is the maximum value that the Mini H1 Ultimo produces. This is the Atom LED X2 Billet projector. It's able to produce both a low and a high beam using a magnetic solenoid. It has a slightly curved cutoff shield, a metal lens holder and a perfectly clear lens producing a super sharp cutoff. It can be installed in H4 headlights or in uh, H7 halogen reflector headlights. The mounting depth that's required is slightly smaller. It's 116 millimeters, so it is a few millimeters less than a Mini H1 bike xenon projector. What's also different is that um, the light source comes already installed in the projector. Can, the, the bulb cannot be taken out as there's an LED installed permanently on the heatsink. So the good news is that there's also no need to install bulky ballasts and that's good news for motorcycle owners who have uh, very little space to install these ballasts. So it's a very compact projector. So you're looking at the Atom LED X2 B LED projector. It's lit up at the wall at around 4 meters distance. And again, let's take a look what the maximum reading is that it produces in the hotspot. 
So we're at 2.12. Yeah, that's the maximum reading that we'll get with the Atomlet X2, 2.12 kilolux for the Atomlet X2. This is the Optimus TR Mini bike xenon projector. It's able to produce low and high beam using a very strong motor which activates a slightly curved cutoff shield. There's a metal lens holder holding a perfectly clear lens which can produce a very sharp cutoff. It comes with an H4 adapter for easy installation inside of your headlight. In your headlight you require a space of 114 millimeters, but really the best news about this projector is that it uses D2S bulbs. So that means that the bulbs from Osram or Philips can be installed in this headlight. So the best bulbs that are available in the market right now can be installed in this projector. Optimus TR Mini. This is the Optimus TR Mini lit up at 4 meters from the wall. And again, I'm going to look what is the maximum value that our lux meter will give. Put the sensor in the middle. 400 gives 401. So yeah, the maximum that I'll get is 4.01 for the Optimus TR Mini Bike Xenon Projector.